us make excuses, well basically everyone finds excuses <laughs> for not finding the time to exercise or commit to healthy eating, putting it in the too hard basket. If there's any story of motivation, it's Marnie Benny. At 138 kilos, the Melbourne woman was on the way to a heart attack and turned her life around, losing 70 k's. Today, she's training for the New York Marathon. Doctors told Marnie Benny she was a heart attack waiting to happen. Working long hours and finding it difficult to find time to exercise, it was no easy mission to shed the weight she needed to get healthy again. I was not living. Um, it just, it really it hurt to move. I was out of breath all the time. I wasn't fit, I wasn't healthy, I wasn't happy. I hated me. But she turned this health scare into the biggest motivation of her life. With daily sessions at the gym, a new diet and a dedicated trainer, at 138 kilos, Marnie set out to become a healthier version of herself. I have lost 70 kilos in 11 months with the help of my amazing trainer, James, and now I'm doing so much that I couldn't do before. Now she's ready to take on one of the world's biggest fitness ventures, the New York Marathon. We haven't had anyone like Marnie before where she's lost 70 kilos and she's a very keen trainer. She's here morning and night, um, five days a week, so... It's pretty incredible, um, her journey so far. Isn't this wow. an amazing story? Marnie Benny joins us. 70 kilos, that is absolutely remarkable. First of all, congratulations. Tell us how hard it was. Thank you. It was really hard. It was really, really hard to start. It was really scary. Um, the slap in the face was being told that I was borderline diabetic and potentially would have to inject myself every day. That was, that was enough for me to, to find something to do to help me. OK. I certainly couldn't have done it myself, though. So how do, tell us about those, those first two or three months. Because mm. it's all very good to start and go for a week or two weeks. Mm. But what kept you going, the discipline? Um, look, I think the fact that um, I decided to join Vision Personal Training and one of the things that they do in the first four weeks is they actually set you up. You do a goal session mm -hmm. once a week and they educate you on healthy eating, they educate you on um, how to achieve your goals and they find out what you want, what you're looking for. Um, I'll never forget that first goal session. James Harris, my, um, my awesome trainer, said to me, how much weight would you like to lose? And I said, oh, I don't know, it was such a big thing to think about because I was so big and it was so scary. And I said, I guess if I could lose 50 kilos by the time I hit 50, which at that stage was three years away, James said to me, what about 60 kilos? And I Really? Do you think I could lose 60 kilos? And James said, absolutely. And there was so much conviction in him that I was like, wow, if he, this person who's just met me believes I can do this, I can do it. And he and Vision have kept me going. And so when it was really hard and times that I was just like, it's too hard, I'm too tired, I want to give up, they kept me going and inspired me and kept me motivated and now look at me. Marnie, I know what a lot of people at home are going to be saying watching this. They're going to be saying it's OK if you can afford to have a personal trainer at a gym. I can't afford to do this. Yep. Um, absolutely. Some people will definitely be saying that. And um, I've got two responses to that. One is that um, we make sacrifices in our life so that we can come here because this is what works for us and I wouldn't be anywhere else. The other thing I'd say is that it's not about necessarily finding a personal trainer or finding um, a, something in the fitness industry. You can do this yourself at home. It's about building a circle of support. It's about wanting to make a change. It's about educating yourself and reaching out to anyone who can help you, making healthy food choices and moving. So it's, you know, 80% of what you put in your body is what happens to you. 20% is your movement. So you can do things at home if you can't afford yeah. to go somewhere. Mm. Anyone yeah. can yeah. do it. Good answer. It's all about yeah. priorities and prioritising your spending and stuff like that. You give up something because you're passionate yeah. about it. Marty, you're an inspiration. Nice yeah. to meet you. Good luck Thank in you. the New York Marathon. Yeah, well done. And there's a lot online you can just do for free, so yeah. that's a good point. Thank yeah. you, Marnie.